listen close and I'll tell you the tale of the perplexing paraphernalia tree. I first heard of its existence in the writings of Mr. Edward Lee. Now I'm sad to say that I've traveled for more than a year and a day. No matter where I go, hardly anyone ever knows of the land where the bong tree grows. Yeah. Now with this yeah. being true, I've acquired some clues, and my quest has taken me far from home. It led me to a small farmhouse just southeast of San Antonio. There is where I found it. There's a historical marker for the barn of Old Man Hale. His great-grandson Justin will be happy to show it to you. He'll flash his fanciest three-tooth grin, and if you ask him for some history, well, this is how he'll begin. My pappy is pappy is pappy. He built it. And my mom, well, she left it to me. And then historical folks came by, put up that plaque back in the summer of 1993. Now he'll ramble on for a few minutes more, but when he's done, he'll ask if you got any more questions, you say just one. You ask him, would you like a bud of my kind bud? Yeah. And if you're lucky, he'll lead you to the tree. This peculiar three-foot tree protruding out of a puddle, single solitary slender branch covered in lovely green petals. Now Justin will quickly take the nug and pack it into what looks to be a knot and then bury his face in the little green tree top. He'll flip out a bick, he'll flick to a flame, the puddle will start bubbling, the whole scene is insane. This 90-year-old man with his face planted in a plant, puffing on smoke. That unfortunately you can't. See, a bong tree is a personal tree. It'll have but one, it will have no other. It's a peculiar plant, choosing who can use it and who can't. Now this left me in despair, but Justin said, have no fear, I have seedlings for sale. And for that I'm eternally grateful to Mr. Hale, see, my little lovely is two feet old and hitting like a dream. And if I hit it real hard and close my eyes, I can still hear Mr. Justin Hale sing. Bong loads of white smoke from tightly packed hitters. In a room full of stoners, no room for y'all quitters. We're passing the buds round the room like a ring. These are a few of my favorite 